this is not a frivolous concern. Neighbors in McKinley Park have experienced flooding after storms for years, like these pictures from last October. And after flood waters recede, what's left in their yards is disturbing. Whatever you can flush down a toilet, think about it. We've found it on our lawns. Oh, that they found was... E. coli, they found um, uh, streptococcus, they found um, coliform. A proposed ballot measure slated for vote this week would help repair and improve the aging stormwater system, specifically pumps and pipes, some of which are a century old. But some neighbors say that won't fix the problem. We decided that with this initiative coming onto the ballot, that it was time for us to take a stand and say no. These Band-Aid measures don't work. You need to separate the system and separate it once and for all. We spoke with the city about it. Essentially, it takes uh, stormwater runoff and uh, uh, down the line in the pipe, uh, it will combine with uh, sanitary sewer flows. In the past, the city of Sacramento has looked into separating the systems, and it would cost billions of dollars. Basically, that fe feasibility study determined that it would uh, cost um, at least $2.7 billion dollars um, to replace and separate. The city also said separating the system would mean tearing up streets and sidewalks in downtown East Sacramento and Land Park. Not to mention there isn't even an estimate of time it would take to complete. But the McKinley Park area group feels this is of the utmost importance. This is a human health concern. And for me, it's very difficult for me to wrap my brain around how a city that wants to be a world-class city would have its citizens trudging through sewage to get to their cars in the morning. Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Now I voted yes, households would have a six to 10 month fee, which would kick in July 1st. Improvements would start right after that. If a majority say no, then uh, there would be no movement on the issue. That vote is scheduled for Wednesday.